Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many web developers encounter when working with custom elements. Our viewer asks, when should I apply the template in the constructor or the connected callback? Let's break down the question. The viewer is curious about the best place to apply a template in their custom element. They mention that sometimes the attribute changed callback is triggered before they can query for elements, leading to confusion. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. When working with web components, you might wonder when to apply the template in the constructor or in the connected callback. Let's explore this. The constructor is called when the element is created, but the DOM is not yet fully connected. This means that if you apply the template here, you won't be able to access any elements that depend on the DOM being ready. On the other hand, the connected callback is invoked when the element is added to the DOM. This is typically the best place to apply your template as all elements are accessible at this point. However, if you apply the template in connected callback, be cautious of the attribute changed callback. It can be triggered before the DOM is fully ready, which may lead to issues when querying elements. In summary, prefer applying the template in connected callback for full DOM access, but be aware of timing issues with attribute changes. This approach ensures your elements are ready for manipulation. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're not using Shadow DOM, avoid inserting the template in the constructor. Instead, append it in the connected callback. Remember, Attribute change callback can be called at different times, so always test before querying inner elements. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe, I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.